Hello dear viewers and greetings from the magnificent Guaya de Queravin in uh, Gran Canaria. This is not tied to any particular kebab review as I haven't yet decided where I'm gonna eat tonight and whether I'm gonna eat kebab at all. However, I'll definitely shove this uh, in the beginning of some random video. So what I wanted to share with you is the absolutely magnificent surrounding I am currently finding myself in. Uh, this Guadalcaravine, it's a canyon of a river which, granted, now it seems dry. Um, anyway, it is several kilometers long and basically every view on the way here to this parking lot, which marks the end of uh, the path, well, end of the road, is absolutely stunning. So let me show you some of these uh, sites. Now over here, now over here is a motorcycle I rented and which I used to come all the way here also explore other absolutely stunning parts of this island. It is almost that every single section of the island is filled with absolutely stunning natural beauty so it's a top recommendation for me if you want to come here for a holiday and you enjoy nature as much as I do. Um, but anyway, I would like to show you some of these magnificent sights. So I will try to mount a GoPro here. I'm not sure if it will hold, whether this windscreen will be blocking the view. I'm not sure how it will work, but I'll give it a shot and then if the shots are good, I will put it in the video, of course. So yeah, Guaya de Queravin. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Uh, yeah, absolutely stunning place in a place full of stunning places, uh, Gran Canaria.
Hello dear viewers and greetings from Oya Pavon, a small town somewhere in the south of Canary Islands. Now the reason why I'm recording this here is uh, quite interesting. So you know how normally we see a Turkish kebab in some random place or we've also seen those of you that have been following this channel a German doner kebab in London, even in Turkey. What is quite interesting here is that right behind me there is a London doner kebab. That's right, so it's not just Turkey, it's not just Germany, it is also Britain, as it seems, that has its own flavor of a kebab which is then sold abroad. So I'm quite, uh, I'm quite curious how this London type of a kebab is, whether it is authentic British or whether it is, I don't know, something made for tourists from third countries which find the thought of eating a British kebab exciting. I do not know, but in any case I'm quite excited to try this out, so please come and join me. Now one bad part about traveling with a motorbike is that I cannot fit all my luggage. I mean, just a backpack basically, but I cannot fit it in the box in the motorbike and then I need to drag it with me whenever I go out all well I have to risk uh, leaving it outside and then it can possibly get stolen together with my passport and other documents now oh, that wouldn't be amazing okay. Hola. Your own uh, kebab ternera. Walam kebab, yeah? Si. Yo, each and chikwe. Okay. Each and chikwe. Okay. You want some drinks, some chips? Fanta. Alright. You have a friend? What kind of sambo? Um, lettuce, tomato. Lettuce. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tomato, onion. Black? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Corn, maize? yes, maize, uh, chilies. Stop. Yes. Sauce, what kind of sauce? Uh, picante. That's it? Yeah. Right. You're making videos? Yeah. What kind of shalad you have? Uh, Sorry? You have shalad in YouTube or? Yeah. Don't make your face. Six euros, please. Uh -huh. Con la tarjeta. Gracias. Okay, so. Okay, so this was very quick. I got the beef kebab wrap and I got Fanta on the side, didn't get the chips which is probably better. If I had gotten chips, it would be another euro and a half. Uh, this is five euros and drink is one euro. 377, 376. So yeah, I was a bit, uh, was a bit apprehensive about this uh, London kebab and it turned out I was right, only 376 grams. That's pretty low, that's nothing like uh, British kebabs. Although then again, in London everything is more expensive. Uh, price of 5 euros, that's standard. But however, you don't get that much in uh, terms of a kebab itself. And actually it's not a British style of a kebab at all. British style, you get a big styrofoam box and then 800 grams or even more, sometimes more than a kilo of ingredients. To me personally, this is nothing like a British style of a kebab. It is just like a standard kebab, Turkish. German is the one in pita apparently. They have a pretty big choice of ingredients and something that you don't normally get in UK. For example, corn, it's very unlikely you'll find that one in UK. Olives, I should have maybe gone for olives because those are typically Actually, I don't think I ever tried a kebab with olives. So far, this is quite tasty. Ah, I did get a lot of meat, if you look here, compared to vegetables. 
get it's a plus because the previous few kebabs I got here in uh, Gran Canaria had loads of vegetables which I mean it's not in its own a bad thing but when it wasn't properly mixed with meat I always had sections where I'm just eating vegetables and that just doesn't appeal to me sections where I just eat meat okay I can live through that but sections where I just eat vegetables no here we got a fair amount of meat compared to vegetables although again as you've seen on the scale 376 grams kebabs here until now normally be four to five hundred so this is the smallest one and you said you had this um, nice terrace where you can sit outside if you're into that you can also sit inside but you know with all this warm comfortable weather outside i don't know why you would do that oh man now to put this into context today is my fifth day in Gran Canaria out of a total of 10 days so I'm halfway through my journey and on my way to south Mas Palomas which is a town or city whatever you want to call it where is the famous Playa del Inglés so the beach of the English something like that there I'm 100% sure are gonna be more kebabs we can try out but they also have uh, sand dunes which look very nice and so far riding through Gran Canaria on a motorcycle I was totally amazed just how beautiful and stunning the nature here is the nature is so stunning but it's stunning absolutely everywhere so you don't have any part when you're riding through the mountains or valleys or wherever that you're not impressed by nature it's not like you go from one point to the other and then in the way it's kind of mediocre no here nature absolutely everywhere is stunning i would say probably then my least favorite part is uh, staying in a city you absolutely must get out of town to fully appreciate gran canaria and that was quite a decent kebab i think i think i will give it four stars i was between three and a half and four stars but although they didn't give me that much of it the sauce was properly spicy so that kind of you know, pushed it a bit over the top for me we did get quite a lot of meat compared to vegetables although as i mentioned before we did not get that much ingredients in total uh, the wrap is thin it's tasty and yeah if you want you can get a mix of also unconventional vegetables here which is quite nice so it's a yeah, very solid kebab 3.5 to 4 i'll give it four stars however one last thing is that i really don't understand why this is called london doner kebab it has nothing to do with the way kebabs are made in the uk and of course you can get kebab in a wrap like here in the uk but that's not a british style that's like kebabs you can get anywhere in the world british style is where you get a small pita and then pile on loads of ingredients on top of it i haven't seen that style of a kebab here at all well this was a super quick service it wasn't too big of a kebab but it was properly spicy so yeah i think it's a dessert four stars short but sweet as we would say now i'm gonna finish my drink i jump back on my motorcycle and uh, i guess i'll see you next in mas palomas so that was london doner kebab in vecindario a town in the southeastern part of gran canaria as someone living in the uk I see no similarities between this kebab and a typical British one. The only vague connection to London and Britain I could make is that this kebab is also served on an island and is more expensive than the others. Despite dodgy advertising, it was a pretty tasty kebab with a wide selection of vegetables to choose from and it scored 4 out of 5 for taste. However, owing to its small mass of 376 grams, don't expect to be filled up. That is all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week in another episode.